the laws of God are not done away with. The only law that was done away with that we, that we covered in Acts and in Hebrews was the law of animal sacrifice. Christ came to fulfill the law of animal, came to fulfill that law. Therefore, but all the other laws still stand. You, can you kill? Can you steal? Can you commit adultery? Can you rob? Can you lie? But is it right or is it wrong? No. You can't bear false witness. Give me Leviticus chapter 19 verse 17. You can't lie to your brother. I can't lie to you. I can't lie to you. If I'm lying to you, that's what am I doing? I'm destroying my community. I'm destroying my brothers. Because a lot of people are living off of lies today. That's, that's one of the misconceptions that we have. Everything we see on television, we think is the truth. But it's a lie. These are the precepts of men that we're learning on these televisions. How to dress, how to eat, how to talk. Nigga this, nigga that, bad be this, bad be that. That's not our culture. That's not who we are. Read what you got, officer. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 11. Ye shall not steal, neither deal falsely, neither lie one to another. You know what God said? Neither should we steal or live falsely or lie one to another. How can we get ahead as a nation of people if we do that? Look at the back of this brother's shirt, brother in the red and white shirt. What's your name, brother? With the locks. Brother on the phone. Brother on the phone. What, what's your name, brother? Malik. Brother Malik. My name is Michael. Look at the back of this brother's shirt. How can we be an organized nation if we're lying and stealing from one another? Could you go into business with a brother that's a known thief? He going to steal. How could you, how could you uh, deal with somebody and some money or your family if they're always lying all the time? That's not what an organized nation is based off of. We apply the laws of God to make an organized nation. Right. You headed out, brother? Yeah, I got a Hey, you got a flyer? Yeah. Hey, look. Call the number on the back of that flyer, all right? Call the number. You'll be in contact with one of our leaders. Ask any questions you may have in that flyer, all right? Any questions you may have. So, young brother, I want to I want to ask you again. According to the Bible, not our own thoughts, but is it okay to lie and steal from one another? No. No, it is not. Give me Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 8. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 8. Because a lot of times we fall on our own thoughts and, we, and what we feel we think is okay. But let's show you what God says. Let's show you what God says to us. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 8. Verse 8, excuse me. The book of Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 8. Uh -huh. For my thoughts... Are not your thoughts. You hear what God said? For our thoughts aren't God's thoughts. Read. Neither are your ways my ways. Nor are our ways God's ways. That's why we go around doing the things we do. Because nothing is justified how we move and operate. Read. Uh, yes, sir. Read again for the time. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Uh -huh. Neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. So God says our thoughts on his thoughts, our ways on his ways. If we were to keep God's ways and his thoughts, this would be a better place. This would be a way better place. But you know where our thoughts are at, young brother? Give me Mark chapter 7, verse 21. I'm going to show you where the thoughts of the black man and black women are today. I'm going to show you our thoughts. Mark chapter 7 and verse 21. These are our thoughts. This is why our community is in a disarray. Read. The book of Mark, chapter 7 and verse 21. Now you tell me when you hear these words coming out, tell me if you don't see this in our community. Read what you got. For from within, out of the heart of men, uh -huh. proceed evil thoughts, uh -huh. adulteries, mm -hmm. fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness. Now keep in mind, all these are thoughts, and led by these thoughts are actions. So you have to have a thought in your, about, in your head about murder. You have to have a thought in your head about covetousness. You have to have a thought in your head about, about adultery before you even do it. Keep reading. Wickedness, uh -huh. deceit, uh -huh. lasciviousness, uh -huh. and evil eye, mm -hmm. blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within. So, so all these evil things come from within us, brother. So guess, what's led, what, guess what follows out these evil things? The actions. There's an action when you have a thought of adultery. There's an action when you have a thought of stealing. There's an action when you have a thought of lying or covetousness. People just don't come straight out for a lion. You have to think about the lie first before it comes out of your mouth. You got some more than offs? Yes, sir. Keep reading. And defile the man. And it defiles us from within. So if everybody's defiled by this young brother, guess what? Now the whole community is messed up. Now the whole community is messed up. 
But this was gonna make this was gonna change us. Give me Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. Romans 12 and 2. Because God said our thoughts on his thoughts. So guess what? Now we have to sit down and be like, okay, now what? I know I'm in his life from the tribe of Gad, because he's a Gad, I all praise to the most high, a mighty tribe, brother. Now I have to be thinking myself, now I have to be renewed in my mind. Read what you got. The book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 2. Uh -huh. And be not conformed to this world. This world says it's okay for women to wear whatever they want, but men just can't wear women clothes. Like you said earlier, right, young brother? Watch this. Keep reading. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So now that we're coming out of the word with this Bible, now you have to be transformed, renewed in your mind. Now no longer can you think it's okay for women to wear whatever they want, but men can't wear whatever they want. No, men have to wear what's appointed to them. Women have to wear what's appointed to them. I brought this example before. If you couldn't read, right? If you couldn't read and you went into a restaurant, how would you know which restroom to go into? How would you know? Looking at other people? Well, well, I'm talking before you even go into the restroom. There's two signs on the, on the doors. If you couldn't understand what the word men and understand what the word women meant, you didn't see nobody walking around. You in there and you walk to these two doors. How would you know which one you going to and which one your mother going to? How would you know? It's got symbols. Exactly. It has symbols. And one of those symbols are for what? And the other one is for what? And what? The woman symbol has a symbol like a dress, right? That's how we know. This is the order of God. What you got, officer? Kiri. That ye may prove that which, that what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So the perfect will of God. Give me Psalms chapter 19 verse 7. How you doing, sister? What's your name? Sarita. 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 How you doing? My name Michael. So what we've been going over with the young brother here, we've been going over nationality in the Bible. We've been going over various laws of God. So we're trying to bring God's people back together under one mindset so we can get out of this place. Are you, uh, are you familiar with the Bible? Do you believe in the Bible? Okay, so we're going, well, I'm going to show you some things I've been showing this young brother. And you tell me if your spirit resonates with this, all right? Read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 7. Now, before we got here, we were going over some things that's in the minds of our people that has our community destroyed. As far as adultery, wickedness, covetousness, lasciviousness. These are a lot of the things that's in our minds before that, before it's followed by an action, all right? So the, this is what's going to make, make us perfect. This, was, this is what is on God's mind. Read what you got. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul, making wise the simple. So the laws of God, sister and brother, they convert the soul. They are what makes you perfect. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!